Thanks, Jerry. Well, known as Flame in the hip-hop world, Marcus Gray grew up influenced by the, the gang and drug culture of inner-city St. Louis. Today, he's a Grammy-nominated Christian rapper who recently released his seventh album called Royal Flush. Marcus is here to share with us his inspiring journey. Hey, welcome. How are you? Thanks for having me, Ron. <laughs> Great to have you. Yes. Well, let, let's uh, back up a little bit. In a moment, we're going to see a sample of, of your music, but I, I want to get your, your story a bit. Tell us uh, about uh, young Marcus. Yeah, well, I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, in the inner city context, and uh, the things that really influenced me were the hip-hop culture, the gang culture, the drug culture. Those things were uh, ambitions for the young man, and mm -hmm. they just modeled a skewed view of manhood, family, community, and those things were attractive, so you gravitated towards them, and I got caught up in a lot of that. And so, uh, share about your, your, your home life at yeah. that time as a, as a young boy. Absolutely, so my parents also grew up in the same context, and my dad, he was just extremely and deeply involved in the street life, um, so he was engaged in drugs and alcohol as well. My mom had a similar story. She came from a gang-oriented background. Um, and it just did some crazy things in her mind, and she was classified schizophrenic depression. So I just grew up in a very unique slash unstable, yeah. you know, home environment, and it was, it was tough. It was so tough. a, a drug-addicted father and, yeah. and a mother who, who's having these... Uh, these mental challenges yeah. and it, it, so for you <clears throat> yeah. it just seemed would seem you know to anyone listening that the, just yeah. the natural thing would then be it kind of gets passed on to the, the kids and yeah and you start uh, you know living that out as, as you're growing up yeah uh, but a generation previous to your parents your, your grandmother tell yeah. talk about grandma man my grandmother she was the strongest pillar in my family concerning Christianity and she just made Christ seemed so attractive. I remember her sharing testimonies and stories about her personal relationship with Christ. So she really influenced me towards Christianity, yeah. but upon her death is really what the Lord used to draw me to himself. Yeah. yeah. So she planted some great seeds Indeed. in you that, that uh, became a foundation for a little later in yeah. life. Yeah. Uh, talk about the uh, high school years and some of the things that you started yeah. getting involved with. Man, so I remember it vividly, uh, just getting into a lot of trouble in my high school. I ended up getting kicked out and had to transfer to a new school. And on the way home from the orientation at this new school, I was hit by an 18 wheeler carrying fuel. Okay, hold on, so, <laughs> were, you, were you driving or? I was you, not, I was so, not. So you were, you were in a car. I was in a car. by an 18 wheeler. Yes, yes. Okay, t t tell us what happened. Very there. tragic, so that we were spinning down a highway, 360, about 65, 70 miles per hour. Wow. Eventually we hit the left shoulder of the highway, the car flips over and it wrecks the entire left side of my body. Had to do physical therapy for maybe a year. Went to my grandmother, asked her, why did God let this happen? She says, I don't know why, but you need to repent, turn to Christ. And a week after that discussion, she, she passed away. Wow. So yeah, what kind of impact intense. then did that have with grandma? You know, praise God for, for grandmas. I know. You know. There's a lot of know. praying grandmas and grandpas out, yeah. out there and yeah. moms and dads to, that have a, a wayward child and, mm -hmm. and they're just, you know, believe in God, but they planted seeds. Yeah. And those seeds, uh, you know, they, they don't return void. You know, those, those, when you plant God's word in someone's heart, yeah. that, that does something for later in life. So, so how did that begin then to uh, change you? Yeah, that's when everything started. Um, the Lord used that event and then eventually I was invited to church, but I was so upset with God. I didn't understand the events that just took place in my life. But eventually I went, I heard the gospel at a local church and the things that I heard sounded like the things my grandmother reminded me of. Mm. So it all came together in that moment. And I was 16 years old and I gave my life to Christ Jesus and he's been keeping me ever since. All right, yeah. you haven't looked back. Indeed. Now, uh, so since then, yeah. Then you're, uh, you're this new creation, as the Bible says, <laughs> and you're, you're, you're changing your life totally, yeah. you know, turning around, going the other direction. Yep. But when, when you kind of look back, you see, you know, there's a culture there, there's some friends there, there yeah. there's a, just kind of a messed up, you know, whole group of, yeah. of people that, you know, God loves and, and you love them. And so talk about how, you know, God started working in your heart to, yeah. to, uh, to get back, you know, and, and to share God's words of life and hope with yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. So what I wanted to do was, I said, man, I understand this culture, this way of thinking. I want to communicate the relevance of the Bible through the rap format. So the people that think like me, probably culturally and express themselves the way I do, I want to communicate God's heart in such a way that they'll see that this ancient book speaks to their regular mundane practices in life and to how God and Christ can help them and, and save them from themselves. 
And so uh, how, did, how did you get started then? <laughs> like you, you've got seven albums out now, but yeah. uh, talk about you know, really launching ahead with that, that first project. Indeed. So at my youth group, um, I had the opportunity to share the gospel through music and uh, just developed this love for being in front of people, sharing the good news, but using rhythm and poetry, which is yeah. what rap stands for. And it just progressed from that point. And I would just write music as unto the Lord, share it with people, and they really enjoyed it. And it just perpetuated from that point. So it's, I've heard it called preaching to a beat. <laughs> indeed, indeed, and, uh, that's a good way to put it. And so this, <laughs> this uh, latest album, Royal Flush, um, now it, it, you use an analogy that's, that's probably uh, maybe somewhat foreign to a lot of our viewers, mm -hmm. but maybe there's a lot that, that can connect with this, but, yeah. but certainly the crowd that you were trying to connect with, uh, yeah. that culture, uh, knows what you're talking about, but when you relate it to life, yeah. it's, it has a, an impact. So talk about the inspiration behind that, uh, that whole theme of Royal Flush. Indeed, so a Royal Flush is the highest hand you can be dealt in a game of poker. Now I'm not a gambling man, but I like the element that it communicates um, based on 2 Peter 1, 3, says his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. When I think about what God has done for the Christian, I say, man, he's given us the highest hand in Christ Jesus. He set us up to win. So I want Christians to be confident in that. And non-Christians who feel like I've been dealt a bad hand in life, I want them to know they can be redealt the highest hand in Christ. That's good stuff. I, I can see how that can very quickly and easily. Some, someone you know, who maybe is into to the poker or into, into that scene or they, yeah. they know, you know, how, what the cards and those terms. <laughs> yeah. It just, okay, yeah. no, I, I can relate to that. Absolutely. And, uh, and so this, this clip we're going to see yeah. is, uh, is, is a song that's on the album called All In. Indeed. And Indeed. so, yeah, there, it does have that the poker analogy yeah. that's connecting to the culture. Yeah. But, uh, but folks, as you, you know, the, the background where he's coming from, you'll have a sense of, of how this can really impact and is impacting mm -hmm. many young lives. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to just watch a portion of that all, right, uh, all in. Now, KB is with you on this. He is. And, he is. and tell us about him. Yeah, he's just a, a young brother that came up in the faith, influenced by my music. And uh, so when I learned that, I said, man, just that discipling from a distance, that influence reaching another person inspired me. So I want to work with him and say thank you in that way. All right, well, let's have a little look at uh, Marcus Gray, Flame, uh, with All In. Got a 10, got a jack, queen, king, and ace, that's a royal flush. If you ain't what, what, what that mean, man, what that mean? Rally around me, man, been our king. All, all that mean is King Jesus gave us everything on that tree. Gave us everything when he died. Gave us the winning hand when he rose. Second Peter, one, three, all things. Lord knows. All or nothing, see, I ain't bluffing and I ain't flexing, I'm turning up. They pulverized them, they brutalized them, they crucified them, they strung them up. He resurrected, I rose with them, that great commission, I go get them. I'm so fishing, I'm so Christian, I still believe God can sober up. Any, any, body, body, sin, sin, problem, problem. Holy, holy, spirit, spirit, gospel, gospel, God, God. We just, we just gotta, gotta be all, all in. All right, all in. Uh, that, that's a term a lot of people get to say, okay, I, I'm, I'm just going for it. I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm putting absolutely. everything in. And so, so and th that's what you've done in your walk with God. Indeed. And that's what you're, you're saying. It's the greatest thing yeah. for, for others to do. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so what kind of response have you been getting? This has only been out a, a, few months. Yeah, a few months. How's it going? It's going really well. The response has been incredible. A lot of people have been saying, I connect with the message. I want that highest hand. I want to be redealt. I want that fresh start. I want to be all in, fully committed as God is, fully committed to me. And it's just been the stories. The stories have been motivating. Now, you've had the opportunity to, to travel a lot. Yeah. Uh, Billy Graham Association has you at a lot, number yeah. of events. I know yes. some of the Rock the River events up in Canada. Love you come those. up here a, you know, a couple uh, a couple times a year. Uh -huh. and it's great to have you. At, and the uh, the album, Royal Flesh, is on our e-store. Indeed, it and is. So you can, uh, you can find that. Perhaps you know someone who you're saying, I need to get this for, for this, my grandchild or yeah. my son or daughter. And what a, what a great idea to put this in their hands. Yes. And, and it'll really speak to a lot of people, I believe. And, yeah. and what an amazing gift God has given you. Yeah. And God bless you for the way you're, you're using it for him and you're, you're connecting uh, to where your, your roots are. Yeah, yeah. But with the, the greatest <laughs> powerful life transforming message. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, just, just a, a, a final thought or maybe a challenge to someone watching right now mm -hmm. as they're, they're just thinking about, um, about being all in for God. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I just want people to know um, that God has demonstrated and proven his love to them and to us in the most unique way. Um, he sent his only beloved son to die for our sins to resurrect so that we can be free. 
run to him. He'll give you that, that fresh start, that highest hand. All right. And actually, another thought comes to mind. Um, the Grammys re recently. Now, I, 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 didn't, I didn't actually get, get to watch it, but I've heard so much about it yeah. that it kind of sunk to a, a, a new low in some of the, you know, what they're broadcasting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what are your thoughts on the, the kind of the state of the, of the mainstream uh, music industry? Ooh, man, a lot of thoughts. Yeah. But overall, I do think there's a sense in which we're um, pressing the envelope and just trying to find new creative ways to highlight debauchery. And it's, yeah. it's unfortunate and sad. And so many talented people you see are engaged and caught up in that. So that's why I love being the antidote through music like Christian hip hop and artists like myself or KB, is that we have the opportunity to jump in that culture, um, but still show the distinction between worldliness and godliness, but develop relationships and really reach people for the sake of the gospel. Yeah. yeah. Can I pray for you before we, we finish up? Please. Let me just jo join hands. Yes. Lord God, I pray for Flame, for mm -hmm. Marcus Gray, as, as he continues into this uh, hip hop culture mm -hmm. as with this great powerful music. I pray, Lord, that you'll just uh, anoint that in a special way that it'll speak to hearts like, like never before, Lord, mm -hmm. that it, it'll have a, a powerful, transformative influence yeah. on the culture and others, Lord, who are using their talents for you in this way. And I pray for those who are watching that maybe have a, a young person in their family connection mm -hmm. that is just on the wrong track and they need to, to realize that you are the answer. Yeah. And Lord, I pray that you'll penetrate their hearts, whether it's through this particular music or some other music or for someone coming into their lives. Lord, I pray for that young person that the grandma or grandpa are praying for right now. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for the seeds that have been planted in their heart. We just pray that those will spring up to, yeah. to new life and that that soil that they've been planted in will, will be good soil yeah. and that there will be uh, life transformation as a result. We thank you, Lord, for your yeah. goodness. Bless uh, Flame as he continues mm -hmm. to sing and rap for you. Yeah. In Jesus' name, Jesus amen. Name. Thank you, brother. Thanks so much for coming by. Yes, glad to, glad to okay. be here.